next method of matching which we called as hex matching previously we were discussing about the tetra match and now we will come to the hex match generally the hex matching is of three type sweep match multi join match and hex dominant here so we will discuss about the sweep matching and uh, let me tell about the advantages and disadvantages of the sweep mass over the tetrahedron mass okay this this is a sweep mass or we can it is a method of hex mass we have a ch comparison chart of this tetra mass and hex mass here in the hex mass the cell are 19000 only whereas in tetra mass they are there are 48000 cell it directly implies that uh, the run time of the hex mass is less as compared to the run time in this tetra matching so this is one of the advantages and also the numerical error in the hex mass are less as compared to the tetra mass so we have to prefer hex mass over tetra mass for this two reasons and now what are the disadvantages here the disadvantages are that it requires clean geometry and feature decomposition also take place and we have to search whether the geometry or geometry is sweepable or not so these are the reason why we use tetra mass over hexa mass so let's begin our process so open the ansys workbench and now component system in which mass drag and drop in this area assign one name here and uh, let and now it's come to geometry so we can import one geometry or we can make the geometry in this also by double clicking on this geometry and it will the design modeler this new geometry and we can import geometry so i already have so i need not to browse and now you can double click the mass to access the ansys mechanical model in which we perform our massing okay this is our geometry which we go we are going to mass with the help of hex mass in which we are using the sweep mass method so for before using the sweep mass on any geometry we have to check whether the geometry is sweepable or geometry can be massed using uh, sweep method so for checking that click right click on the mass and it will give the option so in this so you have to click on sweepable body so this it shows that only the bodies which appear green can be matched using sweep method so in our geometry only this this cuboidal or cuboid block can be matched so for matching the whole body using sweep mass we have to decompose this geometry into many bodies solid bodies so that we can sweep or we can mass the whole body so for this we have to perform decomposition in the design modeler so let me go back to the design modeler so i i should close this now we can go to design modeler where we Click, double click on the geometry row and here it takes some time to start the design modeler on opening the design modeler you will find that this is screen and uh, here we have one import one named body so we have to generate this click on the generate in order to generate that body so we find that there are two bodies only one this with cylinder and other the cuboid so in order to make it mass massable using sweep method we have to decompose so let us start decomposing first we will slice this y uh, or first we have to separate this wick cylinder from these both of the bodies before generating the plane we have to click on uh, click on the face selection filter and then on this plane and uh, select the new plane button where we have to fill the uh, 
details so click on this and click on apply okay now we have to click on generate button it means that our plane is generated now we can slice this body or we can make two part by this plane so click on the slice button here or you can access the slice button by another method that i will tell later and click on uh, we have to select this plane plane number five and click on apply and make sure that here this option slice by plane is selected and slice all body okay we have only this single body so we can slice now we can click on generate okay now let's see this there are three bodies one two three okay now again we have to slice this body or separate this body from this so now let me repeat that method select that plane click on new plane and here this apply and again click on generate and then we can uh, access the slice button if you did not have here and you can click on create and here the slice button is given okay. now in the slice you have to this apply this plane uh, plane 6 is the name of that plane and all body and this is slice button and we can generate this and here you notice that there are four bodies in which the cylinder is separated and this cylinder is also separated now we have to separate this or slice these three body one two three so uh, we have to make the plane or we have to make arrangement for the license so we first select the edge selection filter and then select this edge okay now we can click on the plane and this here base edge is 3d edge okay selected you can apply this and generate so you will see that this plane is generated now we can select that so click on slice and plane 7 select and then and here you make sure that here all body is selected but if we select the all body then this plane will cut the this lower cylinder also we did not want that so we have to click on all selected body and we have to select the body which we want to slice so this what do we want to slice okay and so then we can generate this so you can clearly see that there uh, the number of bodies in increases and this body is separate from this whole again we we want to slice this by there so again we select this edge selection filter and select this edge and then new plane and uh, what we can say generate after that click on slice by plane 8 apply and okay no problem here all bodies we can stick okay now our geometry is slice by or become eligible for sweep meshing we can close this design modeler and return to the workbench where we will click on mesh double click on mesh in order to start the meshing but this message we have to read this message upstream data needs to be reread would you like to read the upstream data yes yeah, we have we had made the changes in the geometry so there is change in the geometry so we have to click this yes okay now it will start the ansys machine this is mechanical after the breaking our geometry into pieces we are again come to the meshing module now we can see that our geometry after decomposition there are six bodies so now we can go to insert our method or to apply our method so we have to click on the click on this mesh now we can check our method preview and no so sweepable bodies so you can see that the whole body is sweepable now okay and when we click on mesh this details of mesh 
they are called the global global controls so i have a separate video for this how to control this global